hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and if you saw the first posting you knew it was gonna be messy yes Portia made a mess on her dad's side of the family by bringing Simon in and Simon basically telling Miss Liz she needed to get it together and stop embarrassing Portia treat her like royalty okay and then we got Portia she sure treated Dennis like royalty she tried to put him in a Mexico jail all because of Portia and what Portia wants and Portia wants Simon to be a stepdad to her daughter she wants to find her things for herself and for her daughter meaning her first meaning her she wants to be first while Dennis try to go to jail on Portia's behalf Y'all, we're going to give Portia back to the streets. The streets she came, the streets she should have returned back to. Okay? It's going to be messy. It's going to be messy. Because I thought Portia had an ounce worth of sense. But as we see, she don't. Simon is in Nigeria. And he's visiting his mom. I don't know if he looked at the video. And I was asking why he don't go visit his mom. While he's sitting up here parading around Atlanta, Georgia, he needs to do better. Go see his mom at least three times a year. Okay, if not more. He has a jet, right? He has a plane. But, it seems like Portia on there lost her mind once again. I had high hopes for her, but now she's for the city and we have to give her back to the city. Okay, the city of Atlanta. She could not let Father Time go over there and mingle with his cousins whatever he was doing over there in nigeria portia hunt him down like a dog okay because she thinks pj needs to be around her stepfather and she needs to be around him too okay we know she went down there for a publicity stunt the first time she went to nigeria to visit simon and his clan they had a nice parade for her or whatever and she misses that royalty or that access but like I said, Simon left her behind here in the States. He said he'll be back. He had to go sit and chit chat with his mom. I don't know if his mom's having health problems or he just felt like he needed to go see his mom. And maybe they wanted to talk about you, Portia. Cause maybe the mom just not liking some of the things you're doing here over here in the States. Okay? Maybe she's telling her son, you need to drop that trick and get you somebody else. Okay? Because she's making a fool out of herself. And then surely, but surely she's going to make one out of you. We don't know why Simon really went over there. But we're going to take him for face value. He went over there to see his mom. But guess who? Trickety trick. Showed up. You mean to tell me Portia. You cannot let Simon go body you. Your glorified boyfriend. But to you. Your fiance. Or sometimes you want to drop husband out there. When we know it's not true. You can let the man have his three days before you took yourself over to Nigeria, calling yourself surprising him. Is that what we're doing now, Portia? Is that what we're doing? The man can't be don't be gone but a couple of days, and you got to hunt him down like a a bounty hunter or a rabbit dog. I, I mean, I understand that. You were just on a boat with him. You were just celebrating your child's birthday party. He was there. I mean, he probably going to get tired of you after a while and throw you back to the streets, okay? Because I don't think Fallon was that clingy. I mean, we know you want to be a part of that world that he presents to you. Not us, but just to you. And you don't want his mama to say anything bad about you. So you got to go show up like a a, a bad piece of acne coming up on your face when you weren't expecting it because that's what you pretty much got you like acne on a person's face Portia right about now you didn't expect it you call yourself cleaning your face real good and you woke up the next morning got pimples everywhere okay but even Simon Gavardi seems like if it's not like stage or anything like that I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt he kind of looks startled like why are you here I know you said you were missing me and I was missing you, but again, why are you here? And then she gonna act like she know she gonna break that man back. 
She's going to give him a hernia or something. Because, he, he, see, he didn't really look enthused. I mean, she a big-ass woman. Not big as in fat, but she got a big-ass butt. And then she's trying to lean down like he can really pick her up. He do, She's doing too much, y'all. She's doing too much. I keep telling you, that's an old man. He can't be doing all these tricks that Portia call herself want to do. But she can't do it in the bedroom because Dennis already told her. Told us she lazy. She only got one position, and that means he had to do all the work. Okay, get it, got it good. Cause I know Simon ain't pulling it, pulling it out like that. I know he ain't, honey. Please, but yeah, he gave me that startled look. Like, why are you here? I left you in the states. I'm trying to bond with my cousins and my family down here, and I want to bond with my mama. Okay, so why are you here? Why are you here? Yes, and I'm why he's saying why you here. He started. I'm trying to figure out where PJ at. Where's PJ? You do have a child. You do know that Portia. It's like you spend more time trying to run up Simon's ass than you do trying to be on PJ's. Okay, and we need to be mother to PJ, not your mother being mother and grandmother to your daughter. I mean, damn, the man can't go for a week or two before you hijacking a plane. From what I understand from reading his uh, Instagram post, y'all didn't take the jet that he supposedly owned. So you went commercial, baby. You went commercial way over to Nigeria. Because I tell you, Beyonce by her husband, a, a, a jet, plane, whatever you want to see it, and they go everywhere. Everywhere across the country. On B's die. Because she gave it to him. For her birth, for his birthday. Now why couldn't Simon Plane. Take you over there. Alright. But let me read the post Simon wrote. He said today I was completely shocked. And surprised when Portia. Showed up unannounced. See he did that. He said unannounced. Okay he didn't even have to put that in there. He could have just said Portia showed up. Okay. But he meant to put it in there. Because he what. Was disturbed that she was there. Like you came way over here. After I told you where I was. Gave you my itinerary. Told you where I was staying. And you bought your little ragged ass over here. I know that's what he wanted to say. If she could only read his mind. If she could only read his mind. Because he probably said. You brought your ragged ass over here. To another country. To come see what I'm doing. And I already told you what I was doing. Took pictures and everything. And you took the not, the, the next Red eye smoking towards um, Nigeria to come see what I'm doing. Hell, I don't know. I could have been on the toilet commode while you calling me downstairs thinking somebody's here to see me and then it's you. I mean, how tragic. Whew. But anyway, how embarrassing I would have said. I'm like, girl, take your butt back home and I'll be there when I get there. Whenever I come. Whenever I return. It's whenever I retire. And don't do, don't do that. Because it's coming out of somebody's pocket. But nine times out of ten. It's probably coming out of Portia's pocket. But anyway. It said. She showed up unannounced. To my hotel in Lagos, Nigeria. I had been gone for a few days. Visiting my 80 something year old mother. Apparently. Portia felt it would be nice to fly to Nigeria. To surprise me. She flew ten and a half hours nonstop to make this surprise a reality. Now I can't think of a lovely a loving gesture than that. Transatlantic flights are no joke on the body. Lagos, Nigeria, as you know, is all the way on a whole different continent in Africa. And the effort it took to plan this last minute surprise will always be appreciated. This is nothing short of epic on April Fool's Day. Thank you, babe, for making a grown man feel loved and special. I'm like, what kind of, what kind of crop pot shit is that? Because evidently, she flew commercial way over there. Because if it was her plane, your plane, Simon, she could have stopped off some places if she got tired, wanted to rest her feet, wanted to rest her body, wanted to step out the plane for a few. You know what I'm saying? If you had a real nice plane... She should have had something like first class. You have those little things you sleep in. Okay, it's almost like being in a, a train and you own have your own cart or, or, you know, area that you would um, have for yourself. You would have one of those, Simon, where she could sit down and lay down. Those kind of seats or seat beds or whatever you call them. 
But evidently, you don't have it, and she didn't have it, and this is how it went. Because she shouldn't have took her rusty butt on over there, okay? She should have kept her little butt in the States, over here, in this country, North America, and, and, and chilling with her daughter, who misses her greatly. Greatly. But see, Portia just, sometimes they, Portia just used her own daughter as a photo op. Because she still feel like she missing life. Now, why the hell are you over there with that man? Oh, mama. Okay? Trying to do what it make it do. And she probably don't even recognize her son. Here and there. Because he don't never come over there. See what I'm saying? Like, like him, he a stranger or something. So she, he gets real close to her. You know? And he's like, oh, okay, it's you. My, my, my first born, second born, third born. You know what I'm saying? What you doing here? And where's that loud mouth child to go around here on this TV and everybody dogging her? Ah, what is what, what is going on with her? She ain't no princess. You lied to her. What is going on? You said she was in TV. But you ain't said it was all reality full of crap and shit like that. You, you just bringing us down when you dating somebody like that. Does she have any morals? You know, I, I would be surprised if she saw Portia found the mouse. <laughs> And she probably said close the book on her son. Keep it moving. Find somebody else. Okay. Find somebody else. Because she ain't the one. She ain't the one. So I guess Portia felt she needed to go over there and check the uh, temperature gauge. Or how his mother was feeling about her. And this, that, and the third. And she couldn't just let Simon tell her about the trip after he got back to the States. No, she wanted to be nosy and take her little bisty butt, her raggedy ass, over there to spy. That's why I call it spy on her glorified fiancé. Like, he might be meeting a Nigerian woman over there that has a lot more class than trashy ways, Portia. Are you scared about the competition of the Nigerian women and who he could be parlaying with while you're in the States and he's over there? Huh? Did you, did you call a few times and he didn't pick up? He didn't answer. And you were like, I got to go check on him and see what he's doing. See, that's insecurity. That's insecurity and that's low self-esteem, Porsche. Low self-esteem and insecurity. Because if you got to be with that man 24-7. When you're supposed to be worried about your businesses. And your daughter. But you're running from continent to continent. Continent to continent. Country to country. Chasing this man. You belong to the streets, Portia. You belong to the streets. From the streets you came to the streets you shall return. Because I can't even blame Simon no more. At first I had him in a chokehold. And I was waxing his behind left and right. Left and right for you. Up and down. Up and down. But now you don't show me how the ball has bounced. Okay. He ain't the problem. You're the problem, Portia. You're the problem. You have low self-esteem. You don't have no value of yourself and what you're capable of doing because you said it so yourself. You were glad Simon loved you so much so you could love yourself. You don't love yourself. You need to be in counseling somewhere. That's what you need to be doing. You don't need to be thinking about marrying nobody. Okay? And you can get Portia straight from the head to the bottom of her foot. You need to get Portia straight. Because I can't believe that you left Georgia to go traipsing all around the world to see what your so-called man is doing. That's piss poor, Portia. Piss poor, foolishness, fakery, fraudulently, fuckery activity that you have done on this day. And it's supposed to be April Fool's. Now we'll say, ooh, April Fool's, she didn't do that. But then I have to look again. That's evidence right there. You see what, what see what we got going on? A kid in a grown folks body. A kid in a grown folks body. I don't know. Her bank account must not be looking right anymore. Because she's not she's not making a six figure salary, you know, on Real Housewives of Atlanta. She don't have dish nation. She's through caution to the wind. So now she's like 
begging for his time, trying to see what he's doing. Maybe she needed some money. I don't know. Maybe he didn't leave her an expense when he left. Like, go in my account, get X, Y, Z, if you need it or whatnot. He probably didn't leave her to make account other codes. So, she kind of felt destitute. So, she said, well, the only thing I can do is go in my account and take me a trip to see what exactly is he doing over there. Because he's been gone for three to four days and he needs to be back in these states. I mean, he can't go, Portia, and visit a whole month if he wanted to without you. Which would turn into... A evil woman or something. Jealous woman. Because them Nigerian men don't care about all that. They want you when they want you. How they want you. Wherever they want you. But you're not controlling them. You're not going to put tabs on them Portia. And see that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to be messy. But see what Simon got you all sold up honey. He ain't chasing you. You chasing him. He ain't leaving the country. Come trying to find you. But you left the country trying to come find him. Well, he over there trying to, you know, look after his mama. See about his mama. You know, she old. And you never know when God going to call her home. And he want to make sure they good. They good in this world and maybe the next. And if she need anything, he that a provider for her. And you showing up at the doorstep. Looking all thirsty. Girl. You can never fight a mother and son love. And those 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 were his bros, his cousins, you know, his relatives. He's out there trying to just chill with them and see what they got going on. See if he need to invest with them. Okay, get his coins up some more. And you showing up at the doorstep. At the hotel. And I'm kind of confused because most time when you go home to see your mama, you're pretty much staying with her. So Simon, why? Your mama don't have the comedies to accommodate you at her home. That's kind of fishy, too. Because everybody I know that got a mama or a dad and they going to visit them here. They staying at the house that they grew up in or the house that their parents are at. They ain't staying in no motel, hotel. Should no kids be there. She don't raise all her kids. Probably grandkids, too. So why aren't you staying at your mother's house? This house that you're kissing her at, you know. That was the photo op, photo op you and uh, Big Head. So I was calling you Big Head, Simon. Now, I got to get Big Head over there. Miss Dahmer. Dahmer and Dahmer. You just got to call her twice. Dahmer one, Dahmer two. Thing one, thing two. Because I, I can't even blame Simon no more. Because she took the cake. When I found out she left the country to go chase this man down after he told her where he was going to be. Gave her his itinerary, told him what hotel he was staying in, and everything. Probably talked to her three to four times a day. But now she had to physically reach out and touch someone. I'm like, what? <laughs> she is straight out of Messyville, and that's where we're going to keep her. We smoking out the window on her. We are smoking out the window. Oh, because she belongs to everybody, everybody. I know y'all know that song by Six Sonic, Anderson Pack, and Bruno Mars and the gang. Yes, I know y'all do. So she going to put her baby dad in jail if she had her way, but it didn't work out that way. God always have a ram in a bush. She always have a ram in a bush and Dennis escaped that little trap. Okay. So, and Simon, know how you get down. That's why he said, I'm going to take this trip by myself. I need you to stay at home. I'm going to be doing what I need to do. Or uh, maybe she thinks he over there trying to plan a wedding for them. I don't know. I, 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 could, I don't know what Portia had in her mind when she traced off over there trying to sneak up on her so-called fiancé, glorified boyfriend to me. But y'all get down in them comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Portia leaving the county, leaving the state, leaving the country to go find Simon Gumbadia. And she found him. And he didn't look too prized to see her. He was like, what the hell? Is it, it, it just looked like. He wasn't looking like that. You know what I'm saying? He was looking like question mark, light bulb came on. You know, if we was in a cartoon, stuff like that. It would have been like, what the hell is she doing here? All these little, you know, these little, what do you call it? Uh, words. They're dropping up when you get confused in your head. And they try to do emanation with it. Because he was having a fire. He was having a cup of coffee, cup of tea. I don't know what it was. He was serving up royalty. And he was liking the peace. Because see, Portia got a child. 
and she run around there hollering, carrying on, busy about it. He can't hit nerve bad. He can't do, can't be doing all that. Okay, that's why I guess he be outside in the pool, trying to uh, calm his nerves. Cause his children, they can pretty much do for themselves. They can definitely make a sandwich or heat some up in the microwave. He ain't got to do nothing for them. But PJ, she still got to be watched. And he like, <laughs> I ain't finna do all that. Where the nanny at? You know what I'm saying? He just want photo ops. And when he feel like he want to talk to Miss Princess PJ, he do. But it be probably limited. Limited words. Because he don't spend no time with the other ones that's old enough to kind of try to have a conversation with their dad. But we see how that worked out. Okay? We see how that's working out. Really. So, that's piss poor. Piss poor. Because, of course, you can't run up a man just like a man should run up a woman. It should be even Steven. If the man told you he was going to go see about his mother and he'll be gone for a couple of weeks, you should have took that as face value. Have your... um chat time have your video uh how you call it the video chats you could do where you could physically see them and stuff of that nature and you just chat because he needs to be with his mother she's at the latter part of a lot of stages of her life he need to be loving on her because he never know when god is going to call her home okay he don't want no regrets he want to make sure everything is cool and cultural with his mom but you couldn't take it. You couldn't take it, man. I'm gone about three days. And you was on the next thing smoking. To see what he was doing. Who he was with. And and, and probably a whole nother itinerary. Because I, I, I was like. I want to slap you. The person that was driving the car. And the person was uh, holding the um, phone. Trying to videotape this thing. And put it up so we could see it. Because I'm like. Why are y'all sitting up here letting her go? Whoever talk. No, I go back to Diane because Diane, she had to drop the baby off somewhere. She don't trust nobody but her mama. So I would have said, look at here, girl. Sit your butt down somewhere. You don't need to go tracing after that man. If that man wanted you to go, he would have had you a ticket for you to go with him. Just like he did when he introduced you to, I don't know, the country, his mama, the city. I, I don't know what he was doing. Y'all first went out there. Okay, before Portia showed us her family uh, being blended and her show she taped called F Portia's Family Matters when we know family wasn't in none of that mess. That was a hot mess. That's what it should have been called Portia's Family Hot Mess. Okay? And how we do. How we do it. How we do it up in Atlanta. Okay? That's what it should have been called. A piece of shit. Y'all tune in to a piece of shit. Coming to you in about four, five, three, two, one seconds. Okay? Because that's all she gave us. Shit. <sighs> but anyway. That's all I got for this video, guys. I'm returning her to the streets. I'm going to get off Simon's neck. Because we can't, we can't help Portia no more. She gone. She's she for the streets. And anything happened to her, it just happened to her. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't nobody, ain't no sense this woman being this stupid. Okay? You're going to leave your daughter up here to be tended to by her grandparents. Well, we're going to say grandparents. Because you don't really like her to be around Mama Gina. But, hey, if the judge ruled in Dennis' favor, hopefully y'all got a 50-50 custody. I wish you could have got 100%. Because then you could stay with Simon 24-7. And we can see how that works out for you. Okay? Because a man of his stature and his... It seems like he got to have his me time. Meaning nobody. He might want to be with the guys. He might want to be with some you know, other people. Who knows. But it definitely shows they want to be with you all the time. Not no 24-7. Okay. When God made the world. He worked for six days. And he rests on that seventh day. And you don't want to give Simon any space. Any rest. You just want to be like a spoiled child. Because that's what you look like. That's what you really are acting like out there. You can't do without him. Because we know it ain't the bed that's pleasing and pleasuring you. No. You can't be sitting by yourself alone. Or you get, I guess, depressed. Or into your own little depression mood or something. Because I ain't never seen a woman like you, Portia. I, I, I never seen a woman like you. And when I did, probably saw someone near what you were doing. I looked at them like they were crazy too. Like, we don't do that. We don't chase no man. And no woman should be chasing, I mean, a man should be chasing a woman. It should be a mutual interest. And when a person knows when they want you, they put a ring on it, as Beyonce. Well, a single lady is that? Oh, you single? So keep your hands up or something to that degree, okay? But 
you damn near at May. Y'all said y'all started this little romance or April. Here we are April. And we're April, May from last year. And you still ain't got married. Who does that? I mean, on the time of said you said y'all were just dating. But you wouldn't have an engagement ring on. So y'all should be more than just dating. Y'all should be planning getting a wedding going here. You know what I'm saying? But that's under the bridge now. We don't cross over. We really could care less if you get married or not. Because I'm sure you still going to have something that we can drag you on. Portia Williams. Or D. Williams, I should say. <sighs> but that's all I got, y'all. Like it, love. We got to have more. Tune in. Because you know I'm going to be dropping some videos. You know I'm going to be dropping some. For us to discuss over at the house. You know I'm going to be doing it. So. Subscribe, share, and like the videos. And I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.